Joseph Seibel. What determines the quality of a shoe? Its materials, its design, or even its price? All of these things matter, but there's something else which goes deeper and which for us is the essence of a good shoe. We're talking about the hands which have been turning shoes into Josef Seibel shoes for 130 years now. This anniversary doesn't only commemorate the brothers Karl August and Anton Seibel, who founded one of Germany's first shoe factories in Hauenstein back in 1886. It also honors the many hands that have made our success possible over the years. Karl August Seibel soon embarked on new paths characterized by expansion. As his sales grew, so did his production facilities. After his death in 1911, his son Josef took the firm's helm and piloted it safely through the chaos of the two world wars. The economic miracle of the post-war reconstruction years brought rapid growth. Josef Seibel II continued to rely on traditional manual sewing while also modernizing production the company's exports surged. In the 1970s, international competition and structural problems meant German shoemakers faced major challenges. Many shoe factories were forced out of business, but with great commitment and energy, fresh ideas and materials purchased inexpensively in Italy, Josef Seibel successfully weathered the stormy recession years. Welcome to the third millennium. Working from our headquarters in Hauenstein, Karl August Seibel has rapidly expanded our export business. Our shoes have become exceedingly popular abroad, not only in the United States, Canada and the United Kingdom, but also in the Middle East and Oceania. The firm has also showed itself to be cosmopolitan in its willingness to establish new plants elsewhere, although the focus of production has remained in Europe and will continue to do so. At Josef Seibel, our focus is on optimizing the design and quality of our shoes and making sure that they are marketable. This has been true for the last 130 years and will remain so in future. The real art lies in inventing the right shoes to satisfy our customers. Again and again and again. Josef Seibel 1970-1980